Beatrix Potter saw the world differently. <clears throat> but no one saw things her way. Some of your paintings are quite pretty, but I'm not going to call them great art. Until she met someone... Mr. Norman Ward. ...who believed in her. I've given your book a great deal of attention. Which other books have you supervised? Personally? Yes. This will be my first. Ah. I'm in every way at your service. Oh! I wish you wouldn't invite tradespeople into the house. They carry dust. Now, the magic she wanted to share. Norman allowed us a peek at Peter Rabbit, Miss Potter. We found it utterly charming. I have decided that you and I are going to be friends. Have you? Will lead to possibilities. You do make rather a good team, don't you think? Beyond her wildest creations. Your book has been very important in my life. You have been very important in my life. And you and mine, Mr. Warren. And you must do it again and again. And again. I would like you to consider doing me the honor, and I do not expect an immediate answer. Discover the remarkable story. Your brother has asked me to marry you. How could you hesitate? If someone came along whom I loved, I would trample my mother. <laughs> of a woman whose imagination inspired the world. I'm so glad Norman found you, Beatrix. I was missing something I didn't even know. Norman Ward is a tradesman, Beatrix. No potter could marry into trade, and that's fine. When did we become so high and mighty? You cannot make us the villains, Beatrix. Your mother trotted out countless suitors. I didn't want to be marrying a man simply because he was rich enough to take care of me. Academy Award winner Renee Zellweger, Ewan McGregor, Academy Award nominee Emily Watson. I don't understand you, Beatrix. Your daughter is famous, Helen. You're the only person who doesn't know it. Ms. Potter.